Alright guys, so I'm thinking about making an authentication library and I'm thinking about what I should include in it. reason why I say that is recently I was looking at Super Tokens library and one thing they added was the ability to detect when there's a theft of a token. And that was something that I've never really thought about, never really considered adding into applications, um, which it could be a good thing to add. But there seems to be an added complexity um, that you have to add in to do that, and I'm thinking it may not even be worth adding. So I'm talking to Getter right now. Getter, do you think I should add this to my library? I'm thinking kind of like I shouldn't add it. What happens if somebody deletes user data? So they get a hold of a token and they delete somebody's data. Oh, well, if they delete data, actually that's pretty bad. Though we have backups, maybe. Maybe backups in place that can stop that. Um, but... Okay, here's here's what I'm thinking. Even if I add um, stolen, or if I can detect if a token is stolen, basically how it works is the token won't even be invalidated until it expires, which could be a time limit of like an hour, half an hour, 15 minutes, depending on how long I pick. And I feel like if I'm an attacker, I stole someone's token, I probably have enough time to then go delete a few things and cause malicious intent and do malicious intent. Um, I guess maybe you can mitigate the amount of things that they can do. They can only do that in 15 minutes. But I feel like in most applications, if someone has stolen my token, then they can do as many bad things um, to my account in 15 minutes than they would with 24 hours. And that, that I'm not gaining that much if their token has expired after an hour, I guess, is what I'm thinking. Well, is there any value and knowing that there was a theft in the first place, for example, could it help you, I guess, try to fix the problem in the first place? Um, or is that not something that can be prevented? Well, I don't know if we would know how the token was ever stolen. So that's one thing. The other thing is, I was thinking about this where if I don't include it, I may never know that someone stole another person's token. Um, but one thing I was thinking about is like when you think about when someone's Facebook gets hacked or someone's Twitter gets hacked, basically you know you got hacked right away and then you see someone make posts and then you just tell Twitter and then Twitter will like reset your account or whatever, right? And I kind of feel like it's like that for most websites and I don't know if the ad complexity of trying to in advance detect this the token is being stolen that you're going to be able to stop that much bad stuff that the complexity is worth it if you change the session timer yeah to reduce the amount of time a uh, hacker has yeah would that ever affect the end user yes and no like we could just say like one minute right or something silly but then we're almost eliminating the reason to set a timer because basically you set like that window of like 15 minutes or an hour where the token is active for and then the reason why you do that is so you don't have to make the database requests every single time so that's nice um, and that helps you scale and that sort of thing so you could actually just eliminate that or you could just check every single time like and I feel like if I was doing something like with a bank for example a bank may want to check every single time whether the token is uh, bad or has been stolen and they need to do stuff like that. But if I'm not a bank, I don't know if I really need that in my application. I feel like it's like, um, me, like, like, there's not that much bad stuff that could happen. I think maybe some sites, maybe if you have, uh, I think this, I guess this is what I'm also thinking about is there's parts of your application where there is a lot of damage that can be dealt and then there's parts of the application which it's not that big of a deal if someone hacked and tampered with the data. So like places where it can go really bad is whenever money's involved. So one thing I was thinking about adding is like the freshness of a token. So that I like the idea of. That's where you just say, well it's been an hour since we've given them the token and now they're trying to buy something. Let's ask them to put in their password. And so if someone stole another person's token, um, then they could put in the password and they wouldn't know it. So they couldn't do it. The other thing I was like, how often is someone's token actually going to get stolen? I actually don't know how often that happens. And like, I don't know how much I should be putting in safeguards to prevent that from happening. It may just be a non-problem 99% of the time. Um, yeah. So.
I guess getters out of questions. So we're out of time for this video. Um, I have no idea whether I'm going to add it or not. I'm probably not going to add it, but we'll see.